Hi everyone, let's take a look today at some of my favorite accessories for the Fujifilm XF10. Starting up on uh, place one, number one is the mag filter, and specifically the 42mm polarizer, and it's already on the camera. What's great is that it easily comes off. There's a magnetic ring that you can attach to the lens right here, and again it magne magnetically attaches itself on and off. It doesn't add really bulk to the camera, so it's still pocketable. I mainly use this as a lens cap, a protector when it's in my pockets. And, but you also have the second use of this as a polarizer. But it's really great, easy to put on and remove. My favorite lens cap. Pretty expensive for a lens cap, but I had it from RX100, so I started to use it. They also have a 52 millimeter thread adapter so you can add these pretty cool different style um, lens hoods as this funky one here it just adds a pretty cool look to the camera I don't know how much really help it, you're gonna get uh, from it but it just adds to to the look of the camera of course the bulk is there um, you can again quickly remove it and if you want to add let's say a gradient and D filter such as this one here which is 52 uh, millimeter thread one two three and pop it goes onto the camera uh, of course it adds a little bit more bulk but it gives you that versatility and ability to add these different um, components onto the camera but again my favorite 42 milli uh, millimeter polarizer second up is already what the xf10 is uh, sitting on which is the joby grip type 1 micro stand i bought a few of these back in the day because i really liked the larger version for my xt2s uh, which i love and they're still on them uh, it allows you again to put the camera when you're sitting or on just some different surfaces rather than putting the camera down um, and damaging the body it quickly folds and again it doesn't add so much to uh, the bulk of the camera and if I want it, again, you just quickly open it up as such, and you can place it down. And it does give you a little bit of a swivel, so you can move it around, etc. Place the camera in different positions. I, again, mainly utilize it if uh, the surface that I'm putting it on, let's say, be it concrete, it won't damage the camera. Or if I'm transferring files, it nicely sits on the desk, or even when I'm just um, not using the camera, it sort of stays like that on my desk. So this Joby uh, mini tripod is one awesome little thing that you can just easily attach to the camera and it doesn't add bulk to it. In third place, let's take a look at a microphone. Um, of course, yes, this camera doesn't have the best video, but I still wanted an external mic as it does have an external mic port. I purchased this uh, adapter that will convert it from the 2.5 to 3.5 and this little guy right here, uh, Seven Rhymes I believe is the way you pronounce it. It does come with a, um, wind protection um, which easily slides on. It's really tiny, I actually used it on my X-T2s and I'm pretty happy with the sound quality that comes out of it. Main thing for me was the size of it, that it's really small. So when I attach it into the XF10 as such, uh, when I'm recording video, yeah, I hold it like that or like this. So um, again, I don't tend to record so much video, but if again, if I'm in a really windy situation, like on the beach um, with my son and wife, then this is something I like to utilize. Just to add that one, two, three, throw it in the back, close it. Um, but I just really like the size of it, how small it is. It again comes with the wind protection um, and two different cables. Uh, as you can see, here's the one, a little stretchy, and then there's the second cable that it comes with here. So that's my uh, next favorite accessory. Uh, following is this particular flash. So the Flash Q, Q20 number two. Um, it's a really cool, fun little flash. I use it with my other cameras. Um, you know, the onboard flash here, especially in sync mode, in aperture priority, is really good. Uh, but sometimes if I want to add 
something extra, maybe bounce it onto the ceiling. Uh, I'll have this be triggered by this flash. So I'll hold it in the air or point it at the subject, etc. It just gives you that ability to play around with light. It's again so small, so it could go into the bag and if the light situation is not the greatest, it helps out for sure. Uh, next in line, we could say here's another um, cap. This one is actually from an X100 line. Uh, it, I stopped using it because it's sometimes a little quirky to put on and off, but it, it beautifully fits onto this camera and it looks really nice. I still use it once in a while if I don't take any of this stuff and it just easily um, comes on and off. Sometimes I've I had issues with it so it kind of gets a little bit of a suction effect so it's a little harder to remove versus the mag filter but yet again it's uh, it beautifully matches the camera so it looks really nice. So that's the next one in line. I don't know if you guys have noticed but during this entire video I have actually a textured faux lever um, on here and why so because yeah sadly I, I mean I do use my cameras a lot it did get damaged here quite a bit uh, scratched up so I thought let me see if I could protect it and I used to do this method on some of my zoom mics that I use on my X-T2s and it really came out nice so it gives an extra uh, rubber effect here so I have a better grip on the camera if I want to and again it adds that protection uh, and it looks sleek so it looks like it's part of the body so that's I'll put the link below um, so you guys have that next in line is this mega gear uh, little pouch into which again if I add my lovely mag filter I fold my little tripod all of this will f fit in here and it closes so this is all that I carry on me uh, it's a cool kind of external holder for the camera versus the pocket um, and again it easily comes in and out so I, I, I like this it's pretty cool so if I want to go light boom that's the one I use um, next when I was doing the whole mic setup I found this cool uh, cold shoe uh, by small rig and it actually fits very nicely on the camera. Right here I attached it um, and with glue dots. I didn't want to make it permanent, but you can. And then for those who really need an extra accessory holder on this camera, you can. So I had the mic attached here when I was doing a little bit more video of it. And it's just a nice additional sort of helper so you don't have to be holding that extra accessory. Uh, it beautifully fits onto the camera so it's just the right uh, width and if you again glue it with glue dots it's not there permanently and you can just remove it um, so it's another cool component that I enjoy and finally um, a bag a camera bag this one here um, by TomTok uh, it's really cool um, if, if I want to take all these accessories with me my wallet, um, keys, etc. Um, this is where the um, XF10 resides. It's a sling. I actually last time took it with me to Aruba with all these lovely little accessories and it was a perfect bag to carry around. Not too bulky, small, doesn't um, you know also say hey camera is in here um, but I really like it. Nicely made, good material here. That's waterproof, uh, front zipper also here, so, you know, I even had my hand sanitizer, um, a holder for keys or whatever you want. Really nice small, small bag, but what I like about it, again, it's like a sling bag, so when it's on my back and then I slide it forward, I can remove everything from the inside of it. So once again, these were some of my favorite accessories for the lovely XF10. I will put all the links below, um, but again, this one probably is one of my favorite. The two here, the 42 millimeter mag filter, polarizer, and this Joby tripod are at the very top of the list. 
Um, I love this camera. It really has become one of my favorites because I take it everywhere. There are videos about its um, autofocus, but I think if you set it onto just spot uh, with single focus, it does a great job. And play around with the ISO. I even uh, brought it up easily to 3200, 4000 with really good results. Um, last time I even shot my friend's wedding as I was a guest, but some of the photos that came out of this camera were amazing and it didn't have any problems uh, with the autofocus. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. These were my favorite accessories for the XF10. Till next time.